so, but would you say that there really has been a culture change in the program? Oh, yeah. That's uh, definitely. I think, you know, Coach Collins is um, he's, he's got a vision in mind and he's doing everything he can to get all of us to buy into that vision. And I think all of our guys have done a really good job adjusting to that and buying into his his vision. And, you know, we've really been making huge strides lately. I was just saying he's a big fan of practicing for a shorter period of time, but practicing a lot harder. Um, so that's a good thing for us because we know that come the end of the season, we'll be as fresh as we are right now. So it's been a, it's been a huge adjustment, a lot of ups and downs. But over the past month, um, we've really been making huge strides as a team. And you know, we've been working really hard. We've been beating each other up in practice. So we're really excited to play against some other bodies. So is that a first for you, keeping stats in practice? Is that something that, you, that you'd have uh, to Yeah, it is. Before? It is. Yeah. It's, it's definitely different. Um, you know, I, it's also important not to necessarily get caught up in those stats yeah. because you know, it's just like a box score. There's a lot more that goes into basketball than a box score. You know, there's there's all the intangibles that don't show up. Um, so it's you know it's important for our guys to yeah focus on that, but at the same time not get all wrapped up in it to realize there's more that goes into the game. And I know that Alex Ola's lost weight, Jershon has lost weight, and I can see kind of your collar there. It looks like you seriously look thinner. Yeah, I've lost ten to ten to fifteen pounds, I'd yeah. say, and. You know, some people ask me if I've gained weight, so it's kind of interesting that yeah. I've gotten kind of hit. How much, how much weight have you lost? And other people are saying, man, did you gain weight? Yeah. So, you know, whatever it is, I feel good. And, yeah. um, you know, my legs feel really, really good after after hard practices and throughout a week. So and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this helps me come the end of the season. Is it just been for more workouts, or do you change your diet also? You know, I mean, the, the strength and conditioning has definitely changed. But at the same time, I'd say most of my um, physical changes have been from a change of diet. Yep. I've gotten with our strength coach and with our nutritionist at school and really focused on a plan um, that has recently actually changed. It was different in the off season than it is now with all the intensity of the workout. So, um, like I said, I'm hoping that it really makes big changes for me come February. Would you knock out your diet? For a while, it was a lot of carbs. Yeah. Um, that was right after the season, and now I'm starting to add those back in. And um, you know, I'm timing my carbs around workouts and things like that. So, you know, just trying to eat as healthy as I can, and um, just you know, I'm ready to get going. What's been the toughest thing to give up, food-wise? You know, once you get in the groove, it's really not hard. Um, I'd, I'd say probably my the biggest change has been, but again, it hasn't been that difficult. Is I used to just drink Gatorade, you know, throughout a day. Right. And now, if I'm not working out, I'll never have anything but water, no lemonade, no Gatorade, nothing. I was never a pop guy. Um, but So that's that was probably the biggest change. Because I was never really an unhealthy eater, but yeah. I, would, I would drink Gatorade instead of water. Yep. So now it's, it's all water for me.